Welcome to Two Minute Ish Tech. This is the segment that we spend talking about particular features in motorcycle clothing and accessories as opposed to specific brands or items of clothing themselves um, with the view to helping you make an informed decision and look out for certain things when you're going out to buy. Uh, this week in particular we're looking at helmets uh, and the age of a helmet. Two aspects with the age. First off, when you're purchasing, and then of course when it comes to replacing your helmet. Now, when you initially go to purchase your helmet, um, what many people don't realise is that the helmet most likely has been sitting around in the manufacturer's warehouse for a period of time, after which it then will end up sitting on a shelf in a shop for a period of time. And of course, some helmets are more popular than others. So what you tend to find is some lesser popular designs or models that have been in the, in the lineup for a long time with plain colors can sometimes get overlooked on shelves and therefore sit around for an awful long time. Now there's a lot of misconception around this and a lot of theories and no specific science um, that everybody agrees upon at least um, in terms of the helmet. Now some people, when I was looking online, were talking about the shell um, and the composites and what I find is more important and what I believe is more important is the actual EPS liner itself. Uh, the EPS liner refers to um, the, the lining of the helmet, not the comfort lining that's closest to your head, but what's in between the outer shell uh, and the comfort lining. And that here you'll see is this white, is this white uh, fab material here. It's basically polystyrene, that's what the PS stands for. Um, now, one simple thing to do is to have a quick look under, so as you see here, I've just pulled back, pulled back the, the head, headliner, and you can see here I've got a sticker. And this is a Nex helmet, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see on that, but there you'll see it's got 2019, so that's the date of manufacture of the helmet. Um, generally speaking, uh, Arai, for example, say five years, um, and what they actually say in terms of how long a helmet should sit on a shelf for is seven years. So, and that's without being used. So as long as, it's like almost as if the clock starts the moment you use the helmet or take it out of the box and start using the helmet, but until that time you have seven years, uh, as far as, say for example, one manufacturer, Arai, will say. Now, I particularly, I don't go by those numbers particularly. I, I, in, I use a rough ballpark and I'd say if, if the date of the manufacturer of the helmet is within the last three to five years, you're generally gonna be okay and you're probably gonna be able to use it for five years beyond that time. Now, the reason uh, in terms of that five year that people, most manufacturers do say, and it's why manufacturer warranties are around that five year mark as well, showy, next included, um, and RI, I believe, um, is because once you start using the helmet, um, it comes in, in contact with UV rays, it comes in contact with your sweat, uh, uh, you know, any kind of stuff that you use in your hair, greasy hair for example, or products that you use in your hair, and that will start to degrade uh, the EPS liner over time. Now they say the more you, often you use your helmet, the faster you're gonna degrade that EPS lining. There's no hard and fast rule. Um, so what I tend to do after a, a couple of years of use of the helmet, every now and again, I'll stick my, my hand in and not, remember, not the cushion or the liner, but the actual EPS, the polystyrene itself, I'll give it a gentle, uh, like a, a little push, and see it's still squidgy. If it's still got that springiness to it, then it's, it's still good to go. Now on some helmets, not this one in particular, but I'll show you another, what the manufacturers also do is line that white EPS liner uh, with some kind of colouring. Black is generally what they go for. So here's a, the next XR2, uh, and you'll see here the EPS liner itself. If I can pull out, there you go is that is a black color that gray black color if i open the visor i can point from the inside that gray black color there and so if you start to see white that means you know the polystyrene the eps liner itself is starting to degrade and it's time to start thinking about potential damage to that and it's worth if it's worth replacing um so there's there are the things that you should be looking for one, when you're buying your helmet, and two, after some time of using your helmet. Now, obviously, if you're an instructor or a courier or a day-to-day -day rider where you're everyday riding, your helmet is going to degrade a lot faster than if you're an infrequent rider um, where your helmet is stored kind of, you know, indoors and in a cool, dark place inside a box or bag 
for the most part. So that was about the life of a helmet uh, and in terms of purchasing and, and therefore thereafter when using the helmet. If you're interested in finding out more about how a helmet should fit uh, properly and safely, then we have made a video about that over across on the main channel. Uh, a link to it will be up in the description, uh, down in the description as well as up here in the in the card. So yeah, that's EPS liners, that's, that's helmets and, and helmet life. Thanks for watching. See you next week.